It took three hours and 15 minutes to get all the gear from the entrance to the sump, traveling just 3,600 feet. But it was only 1 p.m. with plenty of time to do the dive. Visibility was okay, the stream was low, and the water temperature was around 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and so the dive was on. Brian Williams was elected to do the initial dive. Getting ready for a dive is a long and careful process. It is important to get everything right because your life really depends on it. There are no second chances in sump diving. Also, in most cases, sump diving is a solo activity, mainly because there is usually not much space in a sump, and visibility is easily reduced to the point where you would not even be able to see a partner. It would be too easy to get tangled in each other's gear if more than one diver tried to explore a sump. Not a good thing when there is no surface to swim up to for air. Yes. Fins are also a chore to put on, but also a lot of fun. Finally, it's time for Brian to disappear into the depths of McClung's sump. <laughs> 47 minutes later, the suspense builds. Was he successful? Wait for it. His line. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Max Club. With this historic dive, Max Welton Sink Cave and McClung's Cave are now one. The Great Savannah Cave System is born. A 41-mile cave system moving up to be the contender for the longest cave in West Virginia.